from the historic Loretto Abbey Chapel. With the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents The Daily TV Mass. Welcome to the celebration of the Daily TV Mass. My name is Father Pat Fitzpatrick. The televising of this Mass is made possible by the contributions from two donors. The first is an anonymous donor from Denmark in thanksgiving to God for the gift of family and friends, both living and deceased, for blessings received. The daily TV Mass, young people everywhere, world peace, and for the repose of the souls in purgatory. The second is an anonymous donor from Toronto, Ontario, to in thanksgiving for blessings, for the end to the COVID-19 pandemic, and for world peace. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the venerable exercises of holy devotion shape the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, to welcome worthily the Paschal mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. In the midst of the vision I received from the Lord, the angel brought me back to the entrance of the temple. There, the water was flowing from below the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the temple faced east. And the water was flowing down from below the south end of the threshold of the temple, south of the altar. Then the angel brought me out by way of the north gate, and led me around on the east to the outer gate that faces toward the east, and the water was coming out on the south side. Going on eastward with a cord in his hand, the man measured 1,000 cubits, and then led me through the water, and it was ankle deep. Again, he measured 1,000 and led me through the water, and it was knee deep. Again, he measured 1,000 and led me through the water, and it was up to the waist. Again he measured one thousand, and it was a river that I could not cross, for the water had risen. It was deep enough to swim in, a river that could not be crossed. He said to me, Mortal, have you seen this? Then he led me back along the bank of the river. As I came back, I saw on the bank of the river a great many trees on the one side and on the other. He said to me, This water flows toward the eastern region and goes down into the Araba. And when it enters the sea, the sea of stagnant waters, the water will become fresh. Wherever the river goes, every living creature that swarms will live, and there will be very many fish once these waters reach there. It will become fresh, and everything will live where the river goes. On the banks, on both sides of the river, there will grow all kinds of trees for food. Their leaves will not wither, nor their fruit fail, but they will bear fresh fruit every month, because the water for them flows from the sanctuary. Their fruit will be for food, and their leaves for healing. The word of the Lord. Amen. 
The mighty Lord is our refuge. The mighty Lord is our refuge. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea. The mighty Lord is our refuge. There is a river whose stream make glad the city of God the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city, it shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns. The mighty Lord is our refuge. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come behold the works of the Lord. See what awesome things he has brought on the earth. The mighty Lord is our Praise to you, Lord, King of eternal glory. Praise to you, Lord, King of eternal glory. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Give back to me the joy of your salvation. Praise to you, Lord, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a festival of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now in Jerusalem, by the Sheep Gate, there's a pool called in Hebrew Beth Zata, which has five porticos. In these lay many invalids, blind, lame, and paralyzed. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been there a long time, Jesus said to him, Do you want to be made well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up, and while I am making my way, someone else steps down ahead of me. Jesus said to him, Stand up, take your mat, and walk. At once the man was made well, and he took up his mat and began to walk. Now that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who had been cured, It is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry your mat. But he answered them, The man who, was, who made me well said to me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who said to you, take up your mat and walk. Now the man who had been healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had disappeared in the crowd that was there. Later, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you have been made well. Do not sin any more, so that nothing worse happens to you. 
The man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had made him well. Therefore, the Jews started persecuting Jesus because he was doing such things on the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, I know I'm uh, wishing all of you a day ahead of time when I wish you a happy St. Patrick's Day. I know some of you will ask yourselves, who's he talking about? But then, with a double ma name like mine, Patrick Fitzpatrick, I felt I could not pass it by without drawing attention to it. Yes, tomorrow, March 17, St. Patrick's Day. Well, back to today. March 16 and the fourth week of Lent. Daylight saving time began two days ago, and the celebration of Orthodox Lent began yesterday. March is an active month. Our first reading took us back to the temple in Jerusalem, for from it water was flowing towards the east. And this special running water got deeper and deeper and as it made its way nearer and nearer down towards the desert. Uh, a visit to Israel and Jerusalem brings home how necessary it is to appreciate and benefit Jericho and its running water. Otherwise, it would be sand, 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 nearly all the way. But our reading emphasized it will become fresh and everything will live where the river flows. I suppose many of us take running water for granted. Just turn on the tap. A visit to the Holy Land reminds us how grateful we should be for that running water back home. Then Ezekiel came into the story. He reminds us, on the banks, on both sides of the river, they will grow all kinds of trees for food. They will bear fresh fruit every month because the water for them flows from the sanctuary back up in Jerusalem. And their fruit will be for food and their leaves for healing. As verse 2 of today's psalm before the gospel put it, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God. And so to today's gospel. It continues today what was in practice back in the time of Jesus. A feast brings many people to Jerusalem, hoping that the invalids they bring with them might be healed while they were in Jerusalem. Jesus found out that one man had been ill for 38 years, and he asked him, do you want to be made well? Interesting, in English, all seven one-syllable words. Well, the man explains he could never get into the pool first. But Jesus said to him again, stand up, take your mat, and walk. Once more, seven one-syllable words. John tells us in the Gospel, and at once the man was made well, and he took up his mat and began to walk. This time, 17 one-syllable words and only one two-syllable word began. I know uh, Jesus didn't talk English, but it's interesting to find him translated into English. 
for our benefit. Please stand. For those who know who are confined to bed, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for those who care for so many people in hospital these days worldwide, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for doctors and nurses today, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for all of those in the daily TV Mass community who have asked to be included in our prayer intentions book, especially those looking for a deeper awareness of God through their Lenten journey. We pray to the Lord. Lord, you are prayer. And for others who have been asked, we have been asked to pray for. We pray to the Lord. Lord, you are prayer. Grant to us, Lord, hearts renewed, recreating us your own spirit, Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray that our offering of Mass today may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and of all his holy church. We offer to you, O Lord, these gifts which you yourself have bestowed. May they attest to your care of creation for this our mortal life and effect in us the healing that brings us immortality through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your Spirit upon them so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it for this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. of the world. Have mercy.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called by the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. With those of you at home, join with me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. As though you were already there, I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. Prayer after communion, let us pray. Purify our minds, O Lord, we pray, and renew them with this heavenly sacrament, that we may find help for our bodies, now and likewise in times to come, through Christ our Lord. And a prayer over the people. Grant, O merciful God, that your people may remain always devoted to you and may constantly receive your kindness, whatever is for their good, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us go from this Mass in the peace of Christ. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass. Through the Stations of the Cross, we follow in Jesus' footsteps from Pilate's Palace to Calvary. To get your copy of the large print booklet, Reflections on the Way to the Cross, by Father Pat Fitzpatrick, please call the NCBC at 1-888-383-6277 or visit our website to order online.